we also want to talk about Rashid Shahid. I got a chance to talk to him in the locker room this week, and we're going to hear from him. I can confirm that he's going to be a practice squad elevation this week. He's going to be involved on the punt and kick return teams. I don't know whether he's going to be the primary on both, but he's going to be involved. So we're going to talk a lot about that. And shout out to Rashid Shahid just because he's probably the my most favorite name to say on this roster. It's just fun. Yeah, it just rolls off the tongue. It's a fast name for a fast guy. Um, you know, we can just get right into it with Rashid. So the reason he's a really intriguing guy to watch this week is Deontay Hardy went down with a foot injury. It's said to be turf toe. He's not on injured reserve. And so we can get into that a little bit too in terms of, you know, you're calling someone up in the practice squad. And we saw what could happen with those guys. They can get signed by other teams. So we'll get into a little bit of that. And so this is a guy who he is the FCS career leader in uh, in kick return touchdowns with seven. He's obviously out of Weber State. I did ask him if he's met Dame Lillard. He has. So in case you're wondering, another Weber State guy, they're friends. Maybe we can get Dame Lillard to a Saints game. I'm just saying. It could be. It could happen. So you should root for Rashid Shahid if you are a Dame Lillard fan because you want to see him in the Dome hanging out next to CJ McCollum. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying if you have Rashid Shahid, knows, knows Dame Lillard, CJ McCollum, his former teammate, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I love, just saying. I love planting these little seeds already. I love it. I don't, I don't know if Dame Lillard is, if listens to our podcast, but if he does, uh, you, know, you have a seat. Just come take it. <laughs> Um, anyway, here, here's, I, I got to talk to Rashid a little bit and, uh, here's some of that from the, uh, here's some exclusive audio from him in the locker room this week. Uh, have a listen. Yeah. I, I know you haven't actually returned the kick in a live NFL game yet, mm-hmm. but I am curious, you know, what are some of the differences that you've noticed just mm-hmm. in the return game from college to the pros? I know there's some absolutely. rural differences. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a little different because in college you can't double team. Right. So, so now, um, I'm seeing double teams and, you know, guys are, you know, a lot faster. You know, guys get down the field much, much faster. Um, the bigger, of course, um, coming from FCS level uh, to the NFL, you know, the, the speed is, is going to change a lot. Um, but so so far, I feel like I, I, I'll handle it perfectly fine. And, you know, we'll, I'll get my feet wet and it'll just take off from there. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I've always felt like, you know, there are a lot of things like just from observing, you can understand what it's like. Right. I feel like looking up at a ball and catching it as you know these people are racing right. downfield trying to blow you up is something that you can't even fathom unless you've done it. I mean, how do you just kind of go blank in those moments? Like, how do you kind of forget about the fact that these guys are trying to take your head off? Right, right. You kind of just have to focus in on the ball, really. You know, the ball is everything. You know, um, you got to secure it uh, once you catch it. Every, everything after that is kind of easy. You know, just you just it's just playing football after you catch the ball when it's in the air. Go punt return. You know, you, know, you gotta you just gotta believe in your guys and know that that they're gonna hold up and block for you and kick return as well. And um, you know, the ten other guys, as long as they do their job, that my job is easy. So. Yeah. I, the other thing that I feel like in the kick return game that gets overlooked is like just feeling kicks right. and saving yards, mm-hmm. right? Because right. I think that's something that Sean always mentioned about Deontay. Mm-hmm. He was able to get up field and field punts that people at the end of the game don't even remember, right. but it saved you 15, 20, 30 yards. Exactly. And I'm just curious, what goes into that decision? Like as you're trying to decide whether to let it balance or whether to try mm-hmm. to get under it where you know you right. might risk maybe muffing it yeah yeah so um you always want to try to get under the ball and you don't want to the ball can bounce all types of ways right. you know what i'm saying so you don't want to lose the yards for your team you always want to try to run up and under and catch it no matter how hard it is um so yeah yards and, and it's a game of inches so you know every yard counts so if we can steal a couple yards doesn't matter if it's one or two um you know so it's always huge so in any return game very excited about the opportunity, and um, to play for a guy like Riz, it's, it's, it makes it even more fun because he, he's a fiery guy, you know, and, he, and he believes in me, and that just gives me confidence to go out there and play. So. Yeah, and, and one of the things that strikes you when you talk to Rashid, very outgoing guy, very happy to have a chance in the NFL. He's a guy who, you know, probably was going to get drafted, but tore his ACL in his final career college game. That is tragic, right? I mean. This is a moment that he probably expected to have. And then, you know, you go down with that injury. You don't know, especially as a kick returner, a guy who relies on pure athleticism uh, so much to go down with that injury. You know, it's been a long road back for him. And it's just cool to see him get an opportunity, I think. Yeah, and we talked about 